Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times. Welcome to our Thursday crossword puzzle solve. Let's all stand together, united against uh, this crossword by Damon Golzinski, and see if we can crush this in an even record amount of time than we've done before. Uh, I am looking through the puzzle for things that I can drop in right away, and I see here at 20 across Clarice's org, which is a, an abbreviation. That means that the answer needs an abbreviation, is Clarice's org in the Silence of the Lambs. That's FBI. And uh, hope you'll join us. Ab Abdul Wahid, welcome. And uh, Silvana Asturias, welcome. I hope you'll uh, stick around and, and uh, put your guesses in the comments. Uh, Imani Williams wants to know, is there nothing else more important going on in the world? Right now, Imani, no. No, we're solving the crossword puzzle. And we will be solving the crossword puzzle for about the next 35 or 40 minutes. So pull up a chair and join us. Put some guesses in the comments, and I will try to read them. Um, anyway. Going on, we are, let's see, bend out of shape, one across. Uh, I'm going to put in warp. I think it's warp. Um, everybody who's just joined us, welcome. Pierre Sens is hi from France. Hi, Pierre. Uh, and greetings from London from Lucas Markowitz. Greetings, Lucas. Um, Peggy Cochran says she's never done a New York Times crossword. Peggy, I hope you'll stay here. And Mudassem Youssef says it's too complicated. It really isn't. I'm here to help you learn some very basic solving skills and tips that will make you realize that it really isn't that complicated. It's really just a matter of understanding what the clues are asking you to do. So stay tuned. Uh, a lot of people are going to be putting their guesses in the comments, and I bet that you will be able to contribute some comments too. Uh, Vijay Anand Tharaman, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, says four down, and Jackson Downey say four down is PLO. So let's put that in. Mahamud Abbas's group, PLO, got that in there. Spirited horse, a spirited horse is an Arab. Um, Rahul Majumadar says uh, eight down is ALS. Let's take a look at that. Yes, Lou Gehrig's disease for sure it is, ALS. Um, there is a hi from Hi Sydney, Australia. Welcome to the New York Times. Uh, Vivek Ravishankar, and please forgive me, guys, if I mispronounce your name or I miss your comment. They scroll by really, really quickly. Uh, Nathan Rodman, welcome to the New York Times Crosswords, and I am so glad that you've joined us. Um, Lauren Tate, I look forward to solving with you guys too. Uh, Kristen Moore says five down is Edgar. Let's take a look at that. The annual mystery writing award. That's, tr that's true, is the Edgar Award. Let's put that in. Mexico says hi. Hi, Mexico. Uh, Paul Carter Bowman says one down is Wolf. Let's see. Villain in some t fairy tales, that's correct, is Wolf. And like some accounts, that's got to be oral, oral accounts of something. Um, this is a long one. This will buy us a lot of real estate if we get this. The band that used a pay-what-you-want model to, say, to sell their 2007 album, that was Radiohead. So I'm going to just drop that in there. Um, Elizabeth Garrett Linhart says, 27 down is cafe. Let's take a look. Cafe latte. You know what? It's possible. Let's put that in and see, uh, use some of the crossings to see if that's right. Um, yearned. I'm going to say, based on the CH, that that's got to be ached. Uh, here's a problem, though. We have 30 across and we have AE, which is not a very common uh, letter combination in English. So ca the C is definitely correct. Cafe may not be, although it was a very, very good guess. And please, if you, if you guess incorrectly, do not let that stop you from trying again. I make a lot of mistakes when I solve the puzzles. Um, I'm going to, I think, um, this is actually a chai latte. And let's see if 
That's correct, although we do have a double A here, so oop, look at that, that's a, uh, that's a theme entry. So it's possible that there's a double A there just because it might be something kind of tricky, but we'll come back to that. Ship shape, well, I'm going to say that's probably tidy. Um, a lot of people are saying that nine down is musics. Let's see what that is. When the music's over, the 1967 Doors song, yep, that's correct. And uh, Terry LaBianca Nelson says 23 across is O'Hare. Let's see. Midwest Hub, oh, definitely. I have been through O'Hare many a time. Um, Anthony Sakin says 47 down is Olsen. We'll skip around a little bit here. Either twin actress on Full House. Absolutely, the Olsen twins played Michelle, I think, on Full House. Wasn't it Michelle? Uh, a lot of people are starting to uh, agree with Chai, so we'll come back to that. Uh, a lot of people agree on Olsen. Somebody's Tom Skinner says 33 down, and some other people have contributed Pesci to 33 down. Casino actor Joe, absolutely. He was amazing in that role. Um, let's see. Ross Pratt O'Brien has... Um, <laughs> <laughs> has already guessed one of the theme entries, but we're going to come back to that, Ross. Uh, George Brooks says 16 across is untie, and I loved this clue. Not, not, with a question mark. And we, since we have that question mark for people who are just joining us and have never solved before, when you see a question mark at the end, that usually means that there's trickery afoot, and that means that the Clue does not mean what you think it means. So if you think about this very carefully, they're telling you not to knot something. And the opposite of that, so the opposite of knotting would be to untie. Um, let's see. John Piscina says 49 down is scorn. Let's take a look at that. Intense dislike. Well, scorn would definitely fit, so we'll put that in there, and we're going to solve some of the crossings to see if that's correct. Let's, let's finish this section, though, because we're really on our way here. Um, engine type, don't know. Oh, you guys are really, really on this. Uh, Jose Campanegras, oop, I'm sorry, Jose, it scrolled by too quickly. Someone said 49 down is odium. Well, Odium or scorn. Let's see if we can figure out a crossing here. Uh, shipping containers on Italy's longest river. That is a that is a theme entry because it's got a question mark. And the only the only the river that I'm familiar with is the Po. So I'm going to put a P in there, and we'll figure the rest of it out later. Let's see. Dawn to dusk. Um, I would say that that's probably all day. All day fits. But we've got scorn here. So I don't think scorn is right, but it was an excellent guess because it definitely fits. Don't let that stop you. Come on back to it. And I'm going to put all day in there. Uh, Andrea Queso says 33 across is Pisa the town of Pisa in Italy and the birthplace of Galileo. Absolutely. By the way, pro tip, Galileo and his birthplace comes up a lot in the crossword puzzle, so it, it's definitely something worth remembering. Uh, you'll either see his what he is by birth, and it'll be Pisan with an N at the end, or Pisa. So there, it's not just about the Leaning Tower. It was the birthplace of Galileo, too, and it's worth remembering. Um, Paul De Filippo says P the Po is the longest. Thank you for that, Paul. Uh, Teresa Kelly says 15 across is dial. Part of a gauge. Yep, definitely. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Engine type. I'm going to say that's got to be a diesel based on the letters that we have here. Um, Luke Brady agrees with me. Tyler Diedrich says 48 down is forte. Play loudly. Well, you know what? Forte is pro does mean uh, play loudly in music. Um, I think, though, that because we have an English clue here, the answer is probably going to be in English. If it was in, say, Italian, 
then forte might be the answer because that's one of the little little silly rules of crossword solving is that the clue will tell you what language the uh, the answer has to be in. Um, play loudly. I'm going to guess that that's a that's probably blast or blare. Uh, but we'll come back to that. Somebody had suggested that intense dislike was odium. And since we have the D there, I'm going to bet that's right. I'm going to drop that in. Uh, Maria Plytus and Jody Rosenstein and Dave Tam are saying blast. So let's put that in. And the real test is to see whether or not the crossings make sense. So uh, let's, let's put this one in, button with two vertical lines. I had a little problem with this because I was envisioning and my brain got stuck on a physical button like the kind you wear on your clothes, but it's not. It's actually a device button and the one with two vertical lines is, wait for it, pause. So uh, we're, we're thinking that it's blast uh, Dick Hill says he thinks it's Blair. Let's take a look. Um, there aren't too many English words I know of that are spelled S-E-S-U blank. And the clue is mash supply. So I'm going to bet that it's Blair because I think this one is serum, right? At a mobile army surgical hospital, they would probably have a serum. Uh... Let's see, Milo, you can't hear me? Can you hear my voice? Maybe, uh, can you uh, raise your audio? Um, a lot of people are agreeing with pause at 46 down. And please, I just want to remind you guys, there's a big lag on uh, Facebook Live. So I am seeing things and filling them in and then you guys sort of make suggestions and they don't get to me until a certain time. Uh, Mixalis Iliomar Markakis says seven down is Neri. Well, the downtown Abbey Maid is Edna, so it's possible. Let's take a look. Old timey not. Yep, Neri. And we have one more letter here. This is our first theme clue. Singers who go from soul straight to T. And we're talking about the musical scale. So the only thing, the only note in between sol and T is la. And the singers who skip la and go from sol straight to T are the la dodgers. La dodgers, get it guys? So what we have here today is a phrase or a name that has initials at the beginning, L-A, Dodgers, the Los Angeles Dodgers, but we are going to pronounce these initials as a single word, La Dodgers. I think that's pretty hilarious. Um, Davidson Raphael says 63 is enemy. Let's take a look at that. Yep, gotta be. There's only one letter left. And uh, let's see if we can finish up this corner. Out of service. Now, remember, we've got a question mark here, you guys. So question marks mean that uh, it's not quite what we think. It, out of service means not working or something, a device is not working. But in this case, because of the question mark, we're going to, we're going to interpret that mean, as meaning someone who is literally out of the military service. So the answer here would be X and it has to be army. And if anybody else has served in any other branch of the service, we apologize for that. We, we thank everybody for their service. But in today's puzzle, we happen to be referring to army. Uh, here's another theme clue. We've got shipping containers on Italy's longest river. We've got, this has to be PO boxes as a phrase, but we're going to pronounce it as Po boxes, as in the River Po. Jody Rosenstein and JL Avilas agree with me. Eric Dietz agrees that it's ex army, so we're going to leave that. And look at this, guys. We've finished this entire corner. Let's move on. 21 across. Let's 
not get too excited now. So a verbalization in quotes has to be a verbalization in the puzzle. So I would say that's probably going to be easy, as in easy big guy. Um, perfectly precise is probably going to be dead on. And what else have we got here? Um, Melina Weinstein says it's deadly, but, um, and that's a great guess, Melina, but here's the clue, perfectly precise. Deadly doesn't really mean perfectly precise, but dead on does. So that was a great guess. There's nothing wrong with taking a guess, um, but t in today's puzzle, it happens to be dead on. Now, a date book abbreviation. Here we have an abbreviation of the word abbreviation. So that means that the answer has to be an abbreviation, and what you put in your date book are appointments. There we go. So now let's see what else you have. Um, Mik oh, 23 across is Arier, and my name is pronounced Michalis. Thank you, Michalis. Thank you for letting me know. Um, let's see. Here we go. Not so stuffy. Well, yep, I, I think that that's probably going to be Arier. That's a good guess. And uh, let's see. Flora Lipsky says 30 across is Phenom. Where are we? Fe Wunderkind, yes, absolutely, Phenom. And uh, can you scroll up so we can see clues higher than 30? Uh, sure, not a problem. It does tend to skip around when I click inside the puzzle. So here are some of the other ones. Um, let's see, this one, Funny Young Man. Well, that's the old uh, stand-up comic, Henny Youngman who originated the Take My Wife Please line. Um, Kelly Bailey says 29 down is Arnie. Let's take a look at that one. Schwarzenegger informally. Yep, I don't know if I would be the one to call him Arnie, but, you know, somebody could. Um, let's see. Uh, thir Ruth Oliver says 36 down is Ori. Let's see. Concerning. Well, you know what? That's a um, that's a good guess. I'm not sure that awry means the same thing as concerning, but what we can do is we can let's let's do one of the crossings and see what else we get. Jerk. Well, not sure about that one. Forty two across. Octaves follower in some poetry. Oh my God! This is a nightmare. From this is a, a flashback from my lit courses in college. Uh, there are two parts to some poems, the uh, octave, which is eight lines, and the sestet, which is six lines. So we have a, t, a blank T blank here, meaning concerning. Uh, Aaron Kane says it's as two, so let's put that one in, and or I was a great a uh, great guess. Please, please keep guessing. Maria Plaitis says 31 down is motley, assorted. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I would agree with that. I, I don't know if it's motley, but, you know, that is a, one, uh, one definition of it. Let's see what we've got here. Prefix with sect. So the prefix could be trisect. That's pretty good. Um, Shelby Spears agrees that 42 across is Sestet. Diana Sars is 51 down. I think it was 51 down, but it's, the, you guys are scrolling real fast. You're on top of this is loop. Jeweler's eyepiece. Yep, definitely, definitely loop. Uh, Angie Dominguez agrees. Uh, Michalis Ilya Marcus says 34 down is in the zone, maybe. Let's take a look. Hot as a basketball shooter. Yeah, I mean, I, it fits. Let's take a look. And let's, whoopsie, in, oops, sorry about that, guys. T-H-E-Z-O-N-E. -E. Uh, sometimes I get overexcited and type too fast. Savion says 43 is obviously Ellen. Groundbreaking 1990s ABC sitcom, absolutely, Ellen. 
and let's see what this is. They may be bookmarked. Well, I would have to say that's got to be a URLs. Uh, now we have about half of this theme clue. Youngins, your cousins are here, and others are going to be pa and noun. I'm going to guess that's announcements. So it's it, they're PA announcements, but we're going to announce them as PA, as, as in youngins, your cousins are here. Um, so far, I like La Dodgers the best. Um, Dharma teachers, 28 across, are llamas. And what else have we got here? Um, Contrice Gober says 54 across is egg. Let's take a look at that. Well, we've got in the zone here one of a dozen. Ah, okay. This is a tricky question. One of a dozen, and this is something that you need to definitely pick up on if you solve crosswords. See the, cro see the question mark, guys? It doesn't mean literally one out of 12 things or a dozen. What we're, we're going for today is one letter out of the word dozen. And since we already have it here, the answer has to be Z. One letter of a dozen is Z. Got that? Stella Kim says 37 across is PA announcements. Thank you, Stella. We got that. And let's see if we can finish up this part. Subject group with a noted gender imbalance. Well, we've got a, an abbreviation here. And uh, so that means that the answer has to be an abbreviation. And I'm going to guess that that stands for STEM, because that's the one that I know of that has uh, a gender imbalance. And that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Marketing. Uh, Teresa Kelly says 50 across is Elsie. Let's see. Pitcher of milk. That is an excellent, excellent guess. Pitcher of milk has a question mark. So we're not looking for a literal physical pitcher. We're looking for a pitcher as in someone who pitches a product. And Elsie the cow was, and maybe still is in some parts, uh, the uh, pitcher of uh, the dairy farm or the dairy council or something like that. Uh, Audrey Ragsack and Sarah Mann agree on STEM. Uh, let's see, Savion 64 across last monarch of the House of Stuart was Queen Anne. 64 across. Yep, looks like that fits. I'm going to drop that in. Thank you, Savion. Um, Lisa Puentes says, I'm not good with crossword puzzles. Lisa, nobody is until you learn the skills to do it. And the trick to that is to just keep solving. Join us here every Thursday and check out the wordplay column because that's where I put a lot of my tips and tricks and I, I walk you through what the clues are actually asking you to do. Um, okay. Ali Rodriguez has already gotten the next theme clue. We're going to come back to that, Ali. Uh, Sajida Mehdi says 53 across is a lot. 53 across. Well, that's very, very close. Uh, it, it, the clue is Jesus for one. And we're not really, on Thursday, a lot of tricks can happen. So you definitely, if you're, if you're just starting out solving, you definitely want to start with an earlier in the week puzzle, like a Monday or a Tuesday, because the clues are much more straightforward. This one, you have to think about a little bit more. We're not thinking about the heavenly Jesus. We're thinking about Jesus, the ball player. And Jesus, for one, would be Jesus Alou. So that's just one of the tricky things that uh, can appear in a, a later week puzzle. But the thing is that when you solve enough early week puzzles and you make your way through the week and uh, uh, keep pushing the envelope, you'll be able to do this too. Uh, Laiba Li Khan says this answer is Nelson, the admir admiral killed at the Battle of Trafalgar, absolutely, was Admiral Nelson. Logan Alexander says 28 down is iMac. Apple offering, yep, not a literal apple, but the Apple company. 
Um, let's see here. Old shirt, perhaps. Well, I, when my shirts wear out, they become rags. So I'm going to put that in. Um, let's see. Uh, Harish Anwar agrees on iMac. 25 across. Uh, Mr. Mudunuri says it's MacBook. Well, we have iMac here, so I think we're going to look for something different. Let's, let's, that's a good guess, though. Poor Richard Almanac collections. Well, poor Richard was known for his adages, so we're going to put that in. And this appears to be another theme clue. Comedians who do material on the Freudian psyche. Um, well, we've got ID here so far and a C. And we know that the, it says comedians, we have a plural clue. So I'm going to just pop an S in there at the end. And we've got to figure out what this is. A lot of people are agreeing with me on sh turning shirts into rags. KJ, non-apply, non non-apply, please forgive me if I mispronounced that, is pup. Let's take a look. Small dog inform informally. Well, you know what? That could be right. Let's put that in. And let's do the crossings here and kill this corner off to see if we're right. Getting the job done. Um, don't know anything that would mean that with a UN. Let's try this one. Course list. Don't know about that one either. Let's, that pup is an excellent guess. That was what I had at first too. But I think what we're talking about is a specific small dog and the informal name for it. So I think that that's going to be Palm, as in short for Pomeranian. Um, some people are going back up to this corner, so we can hop up there if you want. Somebody says tilted for this one. Unfortunately, we don't have enough letter. We don't have enough squares for that. Like many mosaics, I think what you might have meant is tiled because mosaics are made from tiles. So let's put in tiled. Uh, Tony Earl, you're way ahead of us. We're, we're going to be there soon. Um, Hannah Rose, I'm so glad that you're, you're having fun with this. Please join us. We're, uh, we do this every Thursday at around 1 o'clock. Uh, Kelly Bailey says 39 down is mess up. Let's take a look at, where's 39 down? Oh, here we go. Goof. Yep, that looks like it would be right to me. And that means that a jerk would be a schmo, and that looks right. And we have what Stephen King's editor provided for a 1986 novel. Now, we have, uh, this is another theme clue. And we know so far, if you're just joining us, that in the theme clues, we have phrases that start with initials, two initials, P-O, and or common phrases, and but we're supposed to be pronouncing them as whole words. So what what starts as P.O. boxes, when you clue it as shipping containers on Italy's longest river, it becomes Po boxes. So now we have this. We have what Stephen King's editor provided for a 1986 novel. And I definitely agree that we're going to have support here. Let's see what else. Uh, a lot of you guys are still up in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, we're going to get there. Let's see what we have here. Dope. Not sure what that is yet. Uh, hoppy Quaff for short. That has to be IPA, like a, a, an ale. Uh, loads would be a ton. And that's the answer to the last theme clue, or at least, no, actually, it's the next to last one. We have one up here, uh, is it starts out as IT support, but when it's clued as what Stephen King's editor provided for a 1986 novel, it becomes IT support. So the editor provided support for Stephen King's novel, IT. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's very, very clever. Uh, let's see. Um, ooh, look at that. We figured out what dope means. It means poop. And look at that in the New York Times crossword puzzle. It doesn't mean literal poop, though. It's the same dope as having the dope on or having the poop on. So uh, let's, let's, let's finish this corner down here. 
getting the job done. Um, let's see, Rocky Zester is providing us with great details about shipping containers. Uh, George Dauphin says 55 down is Aaron. Let's take a look at that. Dancing with the, co -star, Dancing with the Stars co-host Andrews is Aaron Andrews, correct? And uh, Tiffany Moore, you are way ahead of us on that last theme clue. I'm thinking getting the job done would be on it. Uh, course list, uh, sounds like it would be about um, something having to do with an academic course, but today it has to do with food courses, so the answer is menu. And the very common thing that you'll see in crossword puzzles here, rebuke to a traitor, is et tu, as in et tu brutai, or brutus. Uh, a lot of people are agreeing on on it. Lisa Mitchell, Abby Sunny, and some other people before, I want to give you credit, but the, the scrolling is really, really, really fast today. Um, comedians who do material on the Freudian psyche, we've put all of the other theme clues together, so we know that this is ID cards, oops, sorry about that, cards, but we're going to pronounce it today when it's clued as comedians who do material on the Freudian psyche as id cards. And card, cards meaning people who, are, who make you laugh like a comedian. So that's terrific. I really enjoyed this theme. Now, we have one corner left. Let's kill this thing off and then we can go back to whatever we were doing before. Rains lightly, you guys. Rains lightly. Um... Let's see. John Glavin says, Kevin Glavin has Norwegian hair. Thank you for that, John. I, it's good to know. Um, let's see. Everybody's agreeing on ID cards. Samson Gonzalez says, card is a funny guy. Well, it can be a funny woman, too. But yes, ID cards or id cards. A card is another word for somebody who cracks you up or is funny. Nine across. Rains lightly. That's got to be mists. Um, let's see, uh, Robert Anthony and Sajida Mehdi agree with me, Jean Morton, uh, or Jean Morton Elia says 13 down is Sears, oracles, yep, Sears, and we have one, couple, a couple of other things here, let's see, 19 across is so yesterday, say, um, uh, well, prefix with squad would be intra, and flight part the, is uh, probably going to be stair, right? Part of a flight of stairs. And that makes sense because so yesterday could be considered stale. So I'm going to put this last letter in here. And look at that, you guys. You helped me crush a Thursday puzzle. That is, that is huge. If you don't think you can do a crossword puzzle, Look at what you just did with the power of the internet and all of us sitting here together and solving. We solved it. If you feel like you need more hints and uh, tricks, please, please come to the wordplay column. Uh, I'm here every day uh, as soon as the puzzle comes out and um, just Google New York Times wordplay. If you have trouble solving, you can leave a, a comment and somebody will be there to help you. I'm also interested in hearing what you liked about the puzzle, um, what your solving experience was, and, um, you know, all I can say is we're here to help. Anyone can solve the New York Times crossword puzzle. It's really just about knowing what the clues are asking of you. Thank you very much, and uh, have a happy Thursday. I'll see you next week.